The Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals on Tuesday said a San Diego federal judge was right to throw out a $10 million defamation suit against him as NBC's top-rated host. The opinion of a three-judge panel was posted three weeks after hearing arguments in a virtual hearing based in Pasadena. A lawyer for owners of San Diego-based One America News argued July 27 that Maddow should face trial for calling O.N. literally paid Russian propaganda in a three-and-a-half-minute segment two years earlier. But in a 3-0 opinion written by Judge Milan D. Smith Jr., the court said, Maddow's statement is well within the bounds of what qualifies as protected speech under the First Amendment. No reasonable viewer could conclude that Maddow implied an assertion of objective fact. The judgment of the district court is therefore affirmed. The 24-page ruling by Smith, John B. Owens and Eduardo C. Robrano, from the Eastern District of Pennsylvania, also was a victory for Maddow's employers Comcast Corporation, NBC Universal Media and MSNBC Cable. Smith wrote, The challenged statement was an obvious exaggeration, cushioned within an undisputed news story. The statement could not reasonably be understood to imply an assertion of objective fact, and therefore, did not amount to defamation. He said San Diego federal judge Cynthia Boshant didn't t abuse her discretion in dismissing the complaint in May 2020 without permission to amend because Herring never asked to amend, and if it had, amendment would have been futile. Maddow cited California S. Andy Slap Law, arguing that the challenged speech is fully protected by California law and the First Amendment because it is an opinion based on fully disclosed facts, is not susceptible of the meaning, Herring, ascribes to it, and even if it could be considered factual is substantially true. Smith added, according to Maddow, because her comment concerned a public issue and Herring could not establish a likelihood of prevailing on its defamation claim. The district court was entitled to strike the complaint pursuant to California S. Andy Slap statute, comma, which aims to protect news media and others from legal intimidation. He added, We can't have speech police parsing the words they weigh Herring is doing. It would really chill valuable speech. Maddo, he said, told the New York Times magazine that the purpose of her show is to provide good, true stories. We re talking about truth here, comma, Siegel said. She s not providing the truth about one American news, and she s not couching it in terms of opinion, either. She s saying, in this case, they really literally are paid Russian propaganda, and she s doing it very deliberately, and it s extremely damaging to the network. Boutrous called Maddow's statement a quintessential imaginative expression, rhetorical hyperbole, opinion based on truthful disclosed facts that this court said that the First Amendment protects and a perfectly and bounds opinion and observation. Owen can say, no, we re not Russian propaganda, comma, he added. Different viewers can take a different position. That's the kind of robust, wide open debate vehement, caustic, humorous, biting denigrating sort of debate about important public issues that New York Times v. Sullivan was, meant, to protect. The Ninth Circuit ruling also leaves in place Boshantes' order that Herring pay more than $250,000 in legal fees to Maddow's lawyers. Dean Nelson, director of the journalism program at Point Loma Nazarene University, said the ruling came as no surprise to anyone familiar with First Amendment protections. Maybe the best takeaway is that it might discourage some groups from filing lawsuits just as a means to harass news organizations Common Nelson said. That's what this suit looked like from the start just a way to intimidate, harass and make the news organization spend a lot of money to defend itself. The courts saw through it and said no. Nope.